Hi everybody. Um, I am now going to be <clears throat> 20 weeks tomorrow. Excuse me. So I thought I would do catch you up to whatever weeks <laughs> I haven't done yet. I'm thinking maybe week 17, 18, and 19, but it could be just 18 and 19. Um, I'm not sure. I've been MIA, really busy, um, working, you know, taking care of kids, and um, um, it was my daughter's birthday yesterday, so we're having a party for her tomorrow. So I don't have the kids tonight, so I can just get the house straightened up before all these guests arrive and whatnot. So, um, and I've been fighting allergies, so that's always fun. So, yay! Um, we found out the gender, and that was a lot of fun. It did not take very long. Um, he was spread eagle. Um, so, uh, it's very for sure because the way that the placenta is placed, there's no way that that could have been the umbilical cord. Um, I do have an interior placenta and I will get into that in a minute, but the ultrasound went really well. Um, he's really healthy. He was measuring, I think, three days smaller than he's supposed to be. So the ultrasound technician was like, well, why are you here? You're not even da 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 so many days and weeks or whatever. And I was like, um, well, my due date's supposed to be October 1st, so I'm supposed to be 18 weeks tomorrow. And she's like, no, you're only so far along. And, uh, that was an argument in itself because I don't like being the one told that I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> don't sniff the camera. Um, doing something wrong. You know, it's just an estimated due date. It's never a for sure thing. So for her to get that frustrated at me was beyond what I could believe. But um, the pictures turned out great. And I actually have them in my room. I don't know why I didn't bring them. Um, but I did bring a lot of stuff to show you. Stuff I bought today. Stuff I've already, you know, I bought as soon as we found out. Um, there's one outfit that I bought when I found out I was pregnant. So um, I will just get started. So when I found out I was pregnant, um, I just could not resist getting an outfit. So I got this. And it's just a little ducky outfit. And it's... Um, it says, I love mommy, and it's got a hat and a bib, and it's just a, a little outfit. It has no feet, just in case he's big or whatever. Um, I can't remember where I got this. Target, maybe? I think Target. And um, I don't even know how much it was, truthfully. It says zero dollars. That's so not true. I don't know. It was money. <laughs> and I got um, little little booties and little mittens to go with it. Um, I'm going to have to start holding myself back from getting any more clothing because everybody likes to get somebody clothing when they have a baby. Um, now I have this little, these little socks, uh, my first Christmas socks that somebody got me with my other son and he was so big when Christmas came along that these did not fit. He was born in March so um, these are like newborn zero to three month uh, sock size. So, and then this is something that we've had for a while. Um, actually, it was their dad's. This is my first Christmas, and neither one of my other kids got to wear it, but this one will. And um, I'm really excited for him to wear this kind of like a, you know, traditional hand me down. Um, <clears throat> and then. When I found out I was pregnant, the one thing that I absolutely loved were these um, swaddle blankets. And I got the size small first, and I'm going to go find a large. Because um, they come in different sizes. And these were like a massive lifesaver with my daughter who had colic. Um, so I'm super excited to use these. These are little monkeys. And then um, this one is this, like the same kind. It was a two pack for. Ten dollars at Target, um, and this one's just plain green. And then the day we found out we were having a boy, I went out and got boys uh, a boy outfit at um, Fred Meyer, and it's a Carter's, and it's his little brother on it, and it's so cute, the little pants, and it's newborn, and I I have a feeling that this is going to be the outfit he comes home in. Um, 
which was super exciting. I'm so excited. Uh, put this one away. Okay, and so today I went to Kmart trying to find my daughter some sandals and a pillow pet, but they had no pillow pets, which is strangely odd. Um, but I found these, these little booties, and they are so cute. And they were only $4.99. And so um, they're not actually even booties. They're like little socks, you know, made to look like shoes or whatever. Um, and they're like little plaid. And this one has like little lightning bolts. And then these, this one's like checkered. This one's plaid. Super cute. Uh, I fell in love with these. And I fell in love with the price, too. And then <clears throat> we're big... I don't want to say Disney fans, but I guess. But we're big, like, Pixar movie fans. We love Pixar movies. Toy Story, Cars, Monsters, Inc., you name it. We love it. Um, so I found these onesies at Kmart, too. And these were $7.99 for a three-pack. They call them Creepers. I've never heard onesies called Creepers before. But <laughs> Kmart's Kmart. Um, it says boys will be boys and I think these other two are just I don't know I didn't look at them oh they got like little designs on them like little cars and stuff super cute I got three to six months I'm not going to get like all zero to three months or newborn stuff because that's just ridiculous you know how fast babies grow um and then I even got some stuff for myself because as we know being pregnant we grow and I love these um, sports bras that are like tank tops. Um, and I know I'm going to be wearing tank tops throughout the summer. So I got some. And of course, I'm already like freaking growing in the chest size. So I got these. And it was three for $12 at Kmart. And I just, you know, got colorful ones. So that way I can just wear them under tank tops. And it kind of looks like a cami too. I don't know. Um, so that was fun, and uh, I think I saved like twenty dollars at Kmart or something like that. I don't know. Oh no, I saved three dollars. I saved twenty dollars at Old Navy. That's what it was. So I went to Old Navy, and they're having sales, like their flip flop sales, and so I got two pairs of flip flops, and then I got my daughter this little cute jumper, and then I got maternity tank tops because. God only knows. It's going to be hot this summer. So, this I thought was really cute. And it's probably going to be a little big. But these are 100% um, cotton. So, they're going to shrink. If these were $6. So, they were $4 off. So, I got extra largest. Because um, you will see in a minute how big I've already gotten. And I'm only 5 months. So, I um, got these. And I thought that they were cute. They got little floral designs. Nothing too fancy. You know, and then um, I've been getting kind of maternity tops that isn't going to look bad wearing after you have a baby, if you get my drift. So, um, and I bought this shirt today at Target, and I bought a tank top as well. Um, tank tops are going to be my lifesaver, I think, this year, and, and dresses, because... Uh, I, I'm already hot, and today was like 73 degrees, and I, I was roasting, so, um, yeah, it's going to be hot, exciting, <laughs> I can't wait to wear dresses, though, um, so about the placenta thing, I was feeling the baby move here and there, um, from 11 weeks until about 16 weeks, I want to say, and then all of a sudden, I think the baby is kind of right in front of the placenta I can't feel him move at all like not at all and so that got me worried and I called the doctor and I was like I can't feel a baby move at all in my last prenatal appointment we couldn't even find the heartbeat and so she says that that's that's normal when you have an anterior placenta and I've never had one like I've had two other kids um, I was able to feel them moving around now um, every time I ate or went to bed they'd be moving around a lot so it was a t it's a total change for me um and I don't I don't like it I don't like the fact that I can't feel my baby and a lot of people say oh you'll feel him in a couple weeks whatever it's like well 
that's cool that I'll feel them in a couple weeks, but I want to feel them now. Like, this is really frustrating. So, um, any symptoms? I don't really have any symptoms. I get heartburn here and there. I get really, I have a really bad headache right now. I get really bad headaches. I think it has to do with stress from work and, um, all that stupid crap over there. Um, but really exciting. My husband and I, we took out, um, some baby stuff that we had in the storage unit. Like, we have this really expensive swing that we got with my daughter and the baby bathtub and the bumbo. Um, I don't have any old clothes for my son. I honestly thought that we were going to be done after two kids. So, I had a yard sale and then I gave the rest to Goodwill or friends. Um, I guess clothes, I don't know. Clothes, to me, baby clothes at least and kids clothes aren't that expensive. Um, it's the bigger stuff. Like, we're going to get a crib for him because my daughter's converts and we're actually going to convert her crib here in a month or so. Um, I just took the railing off and she's doing wonderful with it. So, I think we're just going to convert it. Um, so, what we'll just have to do is get her the rest of the converter kit and a mattress and then just, you know, get the baby a crib and we'll have a mattress for the crib. So, that'll, that'll be good. And I registered at Target for some stuff, just kind of to group my mind together so I don't lose track of what we need and what we don't need. And then if, you know, anybody from our family wants to buy something off of it, um, that's fine. I guess I'm getting a baby shower, which is pretty cool. I didn't have one with my daughter. And I had one with my son, but it was a girl baby shower because he was supposed to be a girl, according to ultrasound. So... It's kind of like I kind of got gypped out of a good baby shower, you know, because it's all pink and girly and I got a whole bunch of girl stuff. So, but, I mean, it was really fun. We had a lot of fun. Um, I do notice that my nipples are still super, super uber sore. So, um, that's no fun. Um, my daughter, yesterday, we were out at the airport and we were just, you know, trying to think of something fun and inexpensive to do or free. So we went and watched the planes come in and I had her sitting on my lap and she decided she wanted to stand up and have her hands on the dashboard but she fell backwards and she fell right on my stomach and I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, she landed on my stomach, you know, call 911 <laughs> kind of thing. I called my doctor because I was in a lot of pain. I mean, she landed directly on my bump and she said, you know, if you're not bleeding, if you're not contracting, um, there's no real emergency. Um, if the pain doesn't go away by the morning, then you probably want to come in and get an ultrasound. I was fine the next morning. It was just really sore, and of course it's going to be sore. I mean, you're pushing something in that's supposed to be coming out. So that did not feel good. Um, but, you know, things happen. I've got little kids. So I think that's everything. Um, I will go show you my bump, which is a bump, and then I will try and keep you guys updated a lot more. Um, I'm sorry if this is scatterbrained or if I, like, talk too fast. And if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask. We haven't decided any names. We're, we're going through our lists right now. It's really hard. We had a girl's name pick like that, but a boy's name, I mean we just cannot agree on so uh, anyways I will see you guys next week okay and I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day and I hope you have a wonderful weekend bye oh. okay whoa boink alright well there's week 18, 19, 20 weeks tomorrow like doink my belly button isn't popping out it never popped out with either one of my other kids this is a maternity shirt I guess it's just kind of all bunched up there we go I don't know I don't want to show you my bare belly nobody wants to see my bare belly so there you go week 20 belly or whatever week it is <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm so tired. Alright, you all have a great weekend, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.